Maximum Power Point Tracking, or MPPT, is a clever technique that can be used to increase the output of variable power sources like solar panels, wind turbines, things like that. So in an electrical system, power is the product of voltage and current. So if you multiply the voltage by the current, you get a certain amount of power. So let's say that we have some kind of solar panel uh, and the voltage on that solar panel is 25 volts. We're drawing two amps of current from it. We get 25 times two is 50 watts of power. Pretty straightforward. Now it turns out with any kind of power source, not just a solar panel, uh, that when you draw more current from a power source, the voltage actually goes down. So the more current you draw from a solar panel, the lower the voltage becomes. And also the less current you draw from a solar panel, the higher the voltage becomes. Now this means that if we were to draw, let's say, maximum current from that solar panel, then the voltage would drop all the way down to almost zero. And so the power output would suffer because, you know, sure we've got a large amount of current, but the voltage becomes a really small number. So if you multiply them together, you get quite a disappointing amount of power. And the same is also true for the opposite. If we draw very little current from a solar panel, surely the voltage will go up, but the amount of current we're drawing is so small that again, the amount of power that we're actually getting will be small as well. So instead, if you want to get more power from that solar panel, what you want to do is find some kind of ratio between the voltage and the current that sits you know, kind of in the middle, right? A good balance between the voltage and the current that will give you a large amount of power. It's kind of like when you're riding a bicycle and trying to pick the right gear. And that sweet spot, that optimal balance between, in the case of the bicycle, the pedaling speed versus the pedaling force, or in case of a solar panel, the voltage and the current. That sweet spot is what we call the maximum power point. It's the point at which you can extract the maximum amount of power from the source. The source being the solar panel or the person sitting on the bike or, you know, any kind of other power source. So a very well-known example of how MPPT is implemented is in a solar charge controller. So a solar charge controller is a, a box that sits between a solar panel and a battery, basically. And what it does is it takes power from the solar panel and it uses that to charge the battery. Now, if that is an MPPT charge controller, then what it can do is it can very precisely adjust the amount of current that it draws from that solar panel in order to get the maximum amount of power, in order to maintain that solar panel at the maximum power point. So basically what this charge controller is going to do is through kind of like a trial and error process, it continuously adjusts the amount of current that it draws and measures the amount of power that the solar panel is producing and tries to maintain the largest amount of power possible. Very similar to a person sitting on a bike messing with the gears, trying to find the best one. Now, of course, the maximum power point isn't constant. It's not always exactly the same. Just like on a bicycle, there isn't one gear that's always the best. It changes depending on whether you might be going uphill or downhill, there might be headwind, there might be no wind at all. And then, of course, there is the person riding the bike. People, different people will have different preferences for picking the right gear. And the same thing goes for the solar panel the maximum power point will change depending on how much sunlight there is. But of course, it also depends on which solar panel you're using. And that's why you've got this tracking system so that the charge controller can adjust itself and track where that maximum power point is, even when it moves. So anyway, I hope that made maximum power point tracking a little bit more understandable. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And of course, thank you for watching. I'm going to get to 200 videos this year because I've got like 198 now. My goal was actually to get to 200 videos last year. So before the end of last year, I wanted to get to 200 videos and I didn't. Now here we are one year later, I'm still not there. <laughs> We're nearly there, just two more to go. One of which is this one. So after this one, we've got one video to go. Then we've got 200.
yeah, that's actually kind of a good idea. If you've got any suggestions for a topic for that video, please leave it in the comments, because I can use that inspiration. Right, perhaps I should now get on to actually recording this video.